Okay, we are live. Live from Denver, Colorado. I've been feeling a little down, um, guys, because the last video that I did, well, it only has three likes, which is nice, really nice, but it has one dislike. Uh, it's just, it's really been eating at me, whoever disliked that video, and I, I've been just thinking about it all week long. Really hurts. Really hurts. So I'm trying to redeem myself today with a, um, you know, maybe an actual tutorial instead of just a first look. I don't know. Um, one of the new cool things is that you can kind of edit on the go in your timeline. Um, kind of edit. Uh, and by that, it's mostly just make cuts um, in your clips and markers. I do like the marker feature and the cuts. I mean, it's nice too, I guess. I thought you could do that in the last one, but... Yeah, I thought you could. Oh, oh, and you can change the volume. One thing that I wish you could do, like you could do on Adobe, is actually move clips around in the timeline while it's still playing. Uh, you can't. Not that I know of. Not to my knowledge. Um, somebody figures that out, let me know. Uh, but I'll just show you a quick example. So I'll push play. Oh, let me turn it down a little bit. All right, so it's playing. Let's say I want to add a marker. I can just add one. Hi. Done. I'll add another marker here. Ooh, like this shot. Um, ooh, smells beer. Done. And then there you have it. Your markers are in there. Smells beer. Like this shot. You know, and so forth. So that's kind of cool. Um, another thing that you can do, um, of course, is um, now you can change the volume on things. So. Let's just pretend the volume's up. And I'm gonna lower the volume a little bit. And it kind of adjusts accordingly. Ish. So that's fun. Uh, and then the last one, of course, is you can just make cuts. And I thought you could do this in the previous version. I feel like I, I, I did, but maybe not. I don't know, so if you're playing and you're like i'll oh, cut there cut there a hundred cuts right there you can see they've all been made right there and then a single undo would just undo them all yeah so that's it i've tried to do other things uh play around with moving clips i don't seem to be able to do that you know it just stops it there i can select and deselect tracks but what i found is that let's pretend um let's pretend you're selected here and you're like okay i'll make a cut here and then you deselect that and then do a bunch here well the problem is is that it doesn't do um the original highlight it only does what you end on those highlights yeah that's at least that's what i'm finding again you know i'm i'm no pro well i am i just don't always sound like it so Maybe that's why I got the, the one dislike. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for watching another really, I mean, yeah, it's just, sorry I wasted your time. 